Hello there, my name is Megan Marie and I'm the Senior Community Manager at Crystal Dynamics and I am here joined today by Brennock Adams, Sir Bren. Hello, Megan Marie. And what are we doing here today? We are going to be unboxing some goodness in front of your eyes. Yes, and the reason that Bren is here with us is actually quite important because he's the art director on Rise of the Tomb Raider. So you had a hand in this Bingo. and in designing a lot of this, which Absolutely, is yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Should we jump right into it? Let's do it. Okay. So first up in the collector's edition, of Rise of the Tomb Raider, we have this black slipcase which protects the contents inside. You want to pull that out of there? <laughs> Teamwork. That is a handsome box if I've ever seen one. It's very cool. It's actually very durable. So can you explain the design decisions behind this? It's meant to look like something inspired from the game. It is meant to game. look like something, absolutely. So Trinity, who is the ruthless organization who's after Lara, they typically around the world take crates like this and they fill it with relics and they uh, send it off. So what we're trying to do here is give you a sense that they are sending one to you, the consumer. And what about Trinity? They're not they're not the good guys, they right? They are jerks. So what is what is their role in the game? Their role is to, I mean, they're effectively after the same thing that Lara is. Lara learns about yes. Trinity through her uh, father and they are some bad dudes. We so do not like them. it's a race against time. Yeah. All right, so we'll open this up. And what is this? That you want to explain what this is while I pull some of this stuff out of here? This is a note from the director. The director. Dun, dun, dun. We don't even speak of this person, okay? So I'm going to let the consumer you read this on your own. Look at all this. Look at all this. Wow. Your favorite part. Ah, oh, I made it in. <laughs> Thank God. Look at this stuff. So this is actually an intentional yeah. decision. This is not just to make a mess Absolutely. and annoy your roommates. Yeah, and or make your animals very happy. Well, no, it actually is totally to make your animals happy. <laughs> but it is more so because uh, when we were thinking about how we would box this stuff, it'd be cooler to make it feel like they were actually packing the stuff yes. with hay or kind of the old school. I mean, come on, who does not love The Last Crusade and Indiana Jones? I just like to make noise with it. Yeah. So for the rest of the unboxing, I'll just sit here and right, do this while enough. you. <laughs> okay, so we'll actually unbox something. I really like this. So sticking with the thematic approach to the collector's edition, this is yeah. sort of secret, top secret files with the Trinity yeah, stamp cool. on there. See the manila envelope. After working on it, it's really nice to see it in person. Yeah. So here, this is our uh, steel case, which is pretty exciting. Yeah. And you want to talk a little bit about the the design on the front? That's yeah. a motif that you actually see in the game quite a bit. That is. That turned out nice, too. It's a, it's a piece of the language system that Laura's going to go through. This icon you'll actually see throughout the world, and she's going to be able to upgrade her own languages through it. Yeah. So we already know she's determined and athletic and all these other things, but it really celebrates how smart she is, which yeah. is fun. Next up, we have another one, and this is something we had so many requests for. It was first spotted in the Turning Point trailer in 2013, Tomb Raider, the reboot, mm -hmm. and it was on Lara's desk, and people were very interested in having a replica of Lara's journal. That's you right. want to talk about the symbol on there? That's right. The logo represents the Sisters of Artemis. It's the archery club that Lara's a part of. She's not any novice. She's pretty badass with a bow. And she trains somewhere, and it's with the Sisters of Artemis. It's really cool. It's leather. Uh, inside pages are a little weathered and old looking. And the nice thing about it is you can be really rough on this thing, and it'll just get better. Throw it in a creek. See what happens. <laughs> Probably won't float. Well, the paper so might that. not survive that, okay. but the leather would. I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> Next up. All right, in the tiny Trinity box, Ooh. another very common request that we had is for the there replica of Lara's necklace. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? That's very cool. So the story behind the necklace is that it is Lara's first archaeological find. She found it when she was young on a dig uh, with Roth, and Roth bent over and took off his shoelace and tied it around her neck so it comes with a shoelace, and you can wear it and look just like Lara. She was wearing penguin pajamas at the time. It's a little known bit of Tomb Raider trivia. Well, it's funny because I also wear those sometimes. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. They actually don't have penguin pajamas in adult size. I've looked. I beg to differ. <laughs> and then you have something pretty important on your side. Ooh. The game. Oh, yeah, that thing. <laughs> <laughs> We're pretty proud of this, you know? <laughs> Worked hard on it. So this I'm sorry. Is... I got to look excited, and I'm looking at this box right now. But please go ahead. That's the game. You also get the game with the collector's edition, yeah. so you can play that. Okay, we'll go to the statue. All right, thank you. <laughs> Okay, so this is something that fans requested specifically. After our last collector's edition, they said, we want another Lara Croft statue. And so we are so happy to oblige that request. Look at that. So beautiful. So this thing is 12 inches tall. 
and it is made out of PVC, uh, so it's actually quite light and durable. It has a monofilament on the bow, so it actually looks like the bow is strung. Super cool and detailed. That turned out very, very well. Yes. I'm pretty happy with that. So how did you guys, the art team and yourself, how did you guys decide on which outfit to put on Lara and which gear? Because Lara has a lot of gear in the game, yeah. um, and she can upgrade to different, you know, quivers and pistol pouches and so on. So how did you decide what to put in there? Well, one of the things we're extremely proud of this time is we have a huge, diverse set of outfits and weaponry yeah. and all these things that make our systems very deep. This is kind of like the halfway point where Lara has what is kind of her default outfit that you're going to see most common. She has all the basic things that she needs to survive, and uh, it quickly became the thing that we are using right here Boop. on the cover. Yeah. Yeah, and her pose, actually, um, we tried a variety of, of different poses, and the one that rose to the top is the one that looks like she's about to breach into something for the first time as if she's going on her first adventure. It's not something where she's bursting on in. She's a little bit apprehensive, and she's not sure if she's ready for it, but uh, she's going to take that first step. She's definitely more driven, yeah. so you can kind of see that in the statue, which is great. And I love all the little details. So we have snow on the boots, which is really cool. Those sticks a little bit transparent. There's a fantastic so, attention to detail, for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's, it's cool. wonderful. So there you go. Look at all of this stuff. Good set. All of this is in the Rise of the Tomb Raider Collector's Edition for Xbox One. So Where's mine? Is that it? All right, fair enough. This one's going on my desk for now. All right. Like everything else. Yeah. yeah. It always <laughs> okay. ends up on your desk. All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in, and we hope that you are as excited to play Rise of the Tomb Raider as we are to get it in your hands. So where can you get it? The North American Square Enix store is offering this for $149 for everything here, statue, game, everything. And for a limited amount of time, you can earn double the Square Enix member rewards points for pre-ordering the collector's edition. That offer goes until November 9th. So if you collect those points, it's a great time to you know, get bonus points for that. And they are offering free shipping in the domestic uh, lower 48 states on this. You can also get it at the European Square Enix store, and they are offering free shipping to most European countries. So you can also pick up the Rise of the Tomb Raider Collector's Edition for Xbox One on TombRaiderStore.com. And you should definitely check out the store because they have lots of great merchandise and shirts and so on, such as the one that I'm wearing now, Lara and the Bear. So. We're super excited about this. This is something that the team worked really hard on. We hope that you guys enjoy uh, all of the different pieces that we've added to the collector's edition. Very proud of this one. Celebration confetti. Hello.